Welcome! In this tutorial, I will show you how to update default React, create React application configuration. So, in case you need to update Webpack or Babel configuration for the application created with Create React App, you can easily do it without ejecting application. So, for example, if I want to update my Babel config file and use this plugin, it's a display if JSX Babel plugin. How can I do it? So I will use a special tool, it calls Krako. Let's Google it and open this one. So for example, let's see what we can do with it. As you see, we can easily change property configuration for CSS, SAS, post CSS. It's for style, styling, ES lint. Babel. As you can see, we can configure any presets, plugins, everything what we need. TypeScript and Webpack as well. Don't forget about Jest and on any other configuration, we can do it without ejecting application. So we will have a demo. For example, I have empty React application. Let's check it's just as you see index.js and uh, up jazz. For example, I have I will have a component. For example, some banner and uh, is uh, active will be props. And for example. some text and I want to display if is active so it will simplify a bit our life without this um, plugin what we should use it will be lo look like uh, is active and uh, this this case or this. I want to prevent it and use this plugin. In general, it will be replaced in the Babel on this way for this, this case, but it looks much better. Okay, now how can we use? Let's, op let's use banner 1 and banner 2. For this one it will be is active. is active as well and uh, let's for example add some additional props count so uh, count one and um, so, what do we have? So, as you see, we have text 1, 2 and 3 and everything works fine. Don't forget props passing this way. So, now I want to update my Babel configuration. So, let's use Krakow. Let's follow the documentation. First of all, we need to install it and it's Krakow, Krakow. We open terminal yarn and Krakow. It will be installed. After that, we need to um, create Krakow config.js file where we will pass all the configuration we need Let's create it. Uh, I'm working in the client directory, directory. And the next, what I need, I need update scripts. Uh, React scripts should be updated with Krakow. 
let's open to packages.json and we have four scripts. Let's update all of them. Eject, I'm not sure we need, but okay, eject, let's leave it. And inside our Krako config file, we need to update what we need. So uh, let's uh, copy all of it, all of this, all example. We don't need everything, but let's put it and let's now we can re delete everything what is not related to Babel. Then TypeScript, we park, jest, and all of it, all of that. We will need only one plugin. So everything else is removed. And now we need plugin. Let's go to the documentation. We have this plugin. Let's install it. Uh, save the Babel. So a yarn add the plugin and the dash d is development and now we need to the plugins add the jsx display if to the array the first item of array of plugins will be jsx display if Okay, uh, everything was installed. Let's check. We have dev dependency, Babel plugin. We have scripts updated. Now, let's stop our application and run it again. It will be started with Krako start. And now, as you see, we have on the tasks text one and text three. Now. Let's remove it. As you see, display if condition, this property works fine. We skip the second banner. Let's remove is active as well. And only the first one we see. So as you see, it's pretty easy approach and way to config everything what you need for your application without ejecting React application. All the configuration you can see and find here. Also here you these uh, re recipes, a list of a lot of options how you can configure your application just in case you need some of it for end design, HTTPS, dev server and everything else. Uh, so thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel if this video was useful for you, like it and uh, share, with, share it with friends. Thank you for watching.